Konami thought they were smart when they banned Gimmick Puppet Nightmare and Ido the Supreme Magical Force in Master Duel, but we, of course, can play around that. In this video, we'll show you how to lock your opponent with Branded because Sanctifier is the correct hit. And even though the other targets might be support to Gimmick Puppet Nightmare or Ido, I guarantee it, in a best of one format, this new secret tech is probably as good as the rest of them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy because we have a new branded king. So what I want to show you today is some replacement targets for Gimmick Puppet Nightmare and Edo. I want to show you my new deck list for this format with branded and I want to show you the replays of how we get it done and basically that it's as effective as a puppet lock. So quickly before we go into the deck let's go over some targets and I'll explain which one is actually the best and I'll jump to it and this is the one that I've decided on which is DDD Vice King Requiem, if you played a bit of Unchained in the TCG, you might know this card from back then. Basically, this is a level 8 Dark Monster, which means you can send it from Granginyol, and its monster effect says that you cannot special summon monsters except DDD monsters. Now, if you get rid of it from the field, it effect no longer applies, right? You can special summon other monsters, but in Master Duel, because it's a best of one, and because people don't tend to play Board Breakers, don't play uh, Forbidden Droplet or, or anything like that, the only way to out this really is Tribute Summoning over it, which is usually fine, right? Most decks will not have a way to get rid of it, even though locking in Master Duel is a bit less consistent just because people do tend to play more Bestials and Call By is a two. But this is the best target, right? It locks you, you can Normal Summon, but you just can't special summon monsters. Other targets, and I'll show you the ones right now, are just worse, basically worse. So this is gonna be what we play. Now we have Simoon, the Poison Wind, and Zonda, that both of them do um, are able to be sent from the deck with Granginyol, but they lock you only from the extra deck and only to Synchros, right? So you can still special summon Horus monsters, you can still special summon other monsters, um, but you're just locked into Synchros, right? We have Arcjet Lightcraft, which I believe locks you from the extra deck, except for Machine Xyz monsters. It's not that amazing, right? Just because, you know, you can still use it to do stuff, right? It's still probably good, but it's not very generic. Archfiend Emperor locks you into Fiends while it's on the field. Now, I found it out the, the hard way that they can just place a Typhon on top of it. So it's not that good. And then we have the two premium targets, I would say. Ra's Disciple, which we played before Game of Poppy Nightmare. Now, that's true. You cannot special summon other monsters and you can't tribute it. So it's very hard to out. The problem with this card is that it's a level four. It's much, much harder to get to through your combo. You need like a three or four card combo because you want to be able to send your target with Granginyol and not with Branded Fusion. And probably the best one, but unfortunately it's a level four. DD Orthros, if it is special summoned to your field, you cannot special summon monsters except fiends. Now, this applies the same way as Gimmick Puppet Nightmare. The problem is, again, Ubel is a deck, Typhon is a thing, and it's a level 4. If it wasn't a level 4, it would be, probably be banned. To be honest, if it was a level 6 or higher, it would be banned. So I think if you do want to FTK your opponent with Branded, this is the way. Let's look at the list. This is what I'm playing right now. Seeing a lot of success with it. I'm not super high ranked, but... I do really, really enjoy this build. It's much closer to what I currently play in the TCG, and it's actually consistent and really, really good. Uh, one Tragedy, three Max C, three Ash, three Albaz. A lot of people will play two in Master Rule, but I think three is definitely the way, especially because of Centurion. There's a lot of ways where you can just contact fuse their entire board with Albalenidus. So you wanna maximize on Albaz. Two Aluber because that's all we can. Two Mercurier for the three Allure of Darkness that you play, one kit, two Cartesia, two Quem. Two Quem is necessary, unfortunately, and one Serenir, three Shrouded, one Lubelion, and one DDD Vice King Requiem. One Foolish, one Sark. You need both because it's there's a lot of limitations, so you need more consistency. Three Deployment, one Talents for the Thrust, one Brand Fusion, three Thrust, which is just incredible in this deck. One lost, two call by one, cross out, three droplet, also really good. Again, Centurion is a thing, breaking boards with this deck is very easy. So with this card, it becomes much easier. One opening, one high spirits, one red, one dupe, 
one retribution and in the extra egg we place Topelia, furious titanic lad two albion where it is to mirror jade lubelion albalandus i think it's really important there's a lot of dragons in this deck it just comes up right um it will and there's nothing really you could play masquerade over it if you want um two granginiol important if you want to lock rinbrim albion and guardian chimera let's look at the replay and see how this deck kind of plays out now what i was saying before about maxing out albaz is because a lot of people will be playing decks like centurion it's very strong in master duel right now and this guy has a lot of um, royal rares as well it's kind of nice we do hold off the maxi for a little bit right just to to not get gamma and especially in this deck i think they will for sure play gamma now phalanx is only for face up monsters so the priority here is just to get to fall of albaz which is really easy with allure and mercurier because we can basically just banish the mercurier here and you will see how strong alba lenidus is in uh, in this meta and how easy it is to resolve we search for we don't need our normal summon we already have an insane amount of card advantage right crimson dragon will go into uh, summoning the blazar using the oxila and it's so great that oxila is a dragon because and we we also get max seed here but we still win basically you set the albaz contact everything on the board right try to look at the hand we know there's a magnum there right we want to get it out to the field and then it's just a matter of clearing out the board here. And it's super easy with Brandon, just like super strong cards. Again, thankfully they didn't draw another Bestial, but it really wasn't that hard. And we were able to, you know, the maxi really helped us. So this is just before we show the lock itself, um, just how strong it is to have three Albaz and Alba Lenidus in the deck, which is not standard in Master Duel at all. Not a lot of people play that. And I think it's important to look at it kind of from the TCG side of things, right? Which is how I see it. And that's why the deck is like super similar. And uh, let's now show exactly how the lock works and how effective it is. Now we, we have a pretty solid hand here, but we do get hand trapped twice. Thankfully we have the fusion duplication, which is uh, just so good. We do want to get to a Luber here to search for branded fusion, which we obviously can't. We do have a way to Cartesia. Quem will dump us the branded fusion. And uh, thankfully, they saved the Imperm for that. And I'm like, that's fine. We'll do it all on their turn, right? So they have four cards in hand. I fire off the Maxi here, most importantly, just to get a called by out, right? If they have a called by, they will probably do it here. And I don't want the call by to go on the Albion tra target. Um, so now they can go into the main phase. They place the Sark. And basically, you have to be toggled on, by the way, just so you don't get sacked by an effect. Because here... I didn't have it on, and they got priority back, but it doesn't matter. Now, Grand Guignol sends the Vice King Requiem, and um, they sent another card to send a Centurion, a uh, Horus monster from the deck. We chain, targeting two of our monsters, summon the Requiem to their field. And basically, they have nothing to do here. They have zero, zero things to do, and this is how effective it is. You can't tribute it for summoning Bell Star, for example. You need specifically like a droplet or a tribute summon for one, right? And you don't want to shotgun this every time. You want to be a little bit more calculated, see what your opponent is on, and then maybe fire it off. And here I want to show you the lock with the Archfiend um, King. I think it was, I for some reason forgot about the Requiem, and I knew that Ubel was around, so it's kind of risky to lock your opponent into Fiend monsters specifically, especially when you have like, things like you bell in the deck so we use granular to send here and we do send the the archfiend king here which you can see the archfiend emperor and again this locks you into fiends right but you will see that with typhon a lot of people are playing typhon right now it's still that kind of format it's still a very good card and um the lock here is very very easy because when you have branded lost granular and in red, you can lock under Branded Lost. So you will see how that works. But again, you want to shotgun this here just because you have Branded Lost. You want to get called by if there is one as early as possible so you can adjust your plays further. But now your opponent cannot respond in this window. So it will be chain one lost and then you can already Sanctifier here and they can't respond because of Branded Lost. So it's just another way of doing it 
where it's insulated, right? Now, I do manage to get a lot of board presence here. It does lock my opponent into Fiends. Duster. I think this was the Typhon replay. Maybe not, but it was Centurion. Um, and there is three back or here, which I don't know what it is. So let's uh, let it play out, right? You want to... Now it's it's important not to banish this because you can just relock over and over again. And um, yeah. Psalm Strike here on the Cartesia. Just debate it out. Brand Infusion set. This guy. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't the Typhon Bomb one, but just so you know, I think that Requiem is much, much better just because it locks you into DDDs. And yeah, this is the deck, even though you don't have to. I didn't play this um, consistently in terms of the lock. You don't have to play it, but I think this build is really good. Um, there's also Grass Bills that actually took first place, I believe, last season in the world, which is cool that Brandon is still doing good, even though it's like so impacted. But I really like this build. Reminds me of the TCG build. Let me know in the comments below if there's other changes or other techs that you're playing right now i would love to hear that uh and again it's a, like a once uh once every blue moon you get a master duel video so better like this so we can get like a hundred likes for sure thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one peace